Hello you guys, how are you? What's up? For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a PR haul. So I've been making these videos, I would say once a month-ish for the past few months. I did it a few years ago, stopped for a bit, and I started kind of getting back into it recently. I've been loving it, and a lot of you guys have been mentioning that you love it too. So for this time around, we have a decent amount of goodies from brands like e.l.f., Drunk Elephant, and Ofra, and a few other brands too. Very, very thankful for everything, of course. And in these kind of videos, I try to always give back and make a giveaway just because first of all i feel like it's a lot of makeup so like girl I'm like you don't need that much kind of thing <laughs> it's nice to have but it's also really really nice to share for myself as well like to share with you guys i'll mention the details on the giveaway towards the end of the video but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'm looking forward to hearing your comments thoughts all of that and yeah let's get started with all of the items that i received for like in the past month okay so the first package that i have up is from pixie pixie sold on target and ulta site and i think a few other retailers as well here is what they sent over. I think that they recently released uh, this new rose line that includes four of these brand new products. And then here you guys can see the box. I think it's presented really, really beautifully. So this right here is called the Essence Oil Infuse. It's a tri-phase um, oil. It says it instantly preps skin for a flawless makeup application infused with rose water, rose oil, and ceramides to help nourish and moisturize. Sounds amazing. I love using oils before I put on foundation, a CC cream powder, anything like that. It really just hydrates and it makes my skin look its best. So I am curious to see how this is going to perform, how it's going to work. So we'll put it to good use ASAP. Next, they sent over this gorgeous glowy powder. I will go ahead and include this in the giveaway, so I'm not going to swatch it because I feel like it would probably be way too dark for my skin tone, so hopefully one of you guys will be able to enjoy. It's a mineral-rich powder that can be used as a veil of blush or highlighter infused with rose extract. Really cool. Next, we have the Radiance Perfector. This rose-infused enhancer helps to blur and brighten skin to give a fresh finish. Packed with ceramides to keep skin nourished and hydrated. And then the final item they included was this lip nourisher. This is a lip balm treatment that leaves a hint of tint as well as softens with rose hip oil and a vitamin E. So it's this really gorgeous red. And then it gives a baby hint of like color, but not as much. I wouldn't say it's the most hydrating. Let me see, I'm putting it on now. It feels nice. A little bit more of a stiffer formula. Oh, but it's a gorgeous color. <laughs> mm, I guess as you work the product into your lips, you feel more and more of like the nourishing feel it has to offer. Okay, next up, I have this package here from Kopari. This is my P.O. box, by the way. I do have a P.O. box. A lot of you guys always ask me because um, you might want to send stuff, which I think is so sweet. So thank you so much in general. But yeah, here is my P.O. box. It's always linked in my um, description box. So Kopari sent over... I want to say body care product. Here's what the pick looks like and I have to say I love that you can kind of see stretch marks because my body's like that too And it's nice to see that it's like normalized in a way even though it doesn't really bother me actually I love mine, but um, I feel like years ago was a very like taboo subject, you know, so love that Firstly, they sent over these really really cute slides Love them. It's really nice and smushy. It's size 8, 9. I'm size 7, 6 in shoes, 7 sometimes in slippers. But yeah, great quality slippers. I love when they send these extra goods because it's just, it's you know, it's nice to have around. And then here is the product, the actual body butter they sent over. So here's what the pamphlet looks like. It says the body butter that's sold out in five days. I love their packaging. Everything is just so nice and simple. Here is what the product looks like, and I have to tell you guys, it has such a nice, very whipped, thicker, yummy texture. It smells amazing as well. It says rub onto dry or damp skin. Could be used on the entire body, heels, elbows, and anywhere that needs a drink of hydration. And they sell Kopari on Sephora site if you guys were wanting to try them out, but um, they are vegan, recyclable, recyclable, yeah, and clean. I will also say from the few items I tried from them, I loved, except for the deodorant. That one was just like a no-go because I feel like it was itching my underarms like insanely, but like body creams, body um, lotions, exfoliators, all of that, lip products by them, amazing. Next up, we have some items here from Ofra Cosmetics. They sent over the Love Me More collection. This is, this was in time for Valentine's Day. It comes with a liquid lipstick and a flexi stick, slick stick basically, as 
well as a highlighter, all full sizes. They have this on their site now. I have a code with Ofra, it's just Leora, my name, and you can get 20% off site wide all the time. So they actually ended up sending over two of these. I was supposed to work with them on a video, but I ended up getting like pretty sick and I just could not like speak. So um, we X that. Uh, but yeah, I have two of these. I'm gonna put this in the giveaway pile. Here's what the PR box looked like. They sent over this lollipop that says, love me more, yum. This kind of reminds me of like when I was a kid and they had these like in, like even bigger ones um, with like Minnie and Mickey Mouse on it, you know, uh, to be five. And then here is what the little pamphlet looks like, okay, upside down. So this whole entire kit is $49, which I think is pretty good because you get three full sizes and then if you want to use my code or anyone else's code, it's typically 20% off. Um, but yeah, then this is just basically the same thing I just showed you. <laughs> so let me show you guys some swatches. So here's the Flexi stick in the shade 143. It's a really pretty like peachy gold almost. Kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm. Yum. And I love these Flexi Slicks sticks. Hold on. Flex Flexi Slick sticks basically. Flexi Slick. <laughs> Um, they are pretty pigmented. Um, they're not the longest lasting ever, but they're very comfortable and it does add a lot to the lips. I like to wear these on their own or with a liquid lipstick, a lipstick, anything like that. And then the liquid lipstick looks just like this and this is in the shade LOML. Love these kind of tones, you guys know. These, like, these kind of shades are my absolute life. Nudes all the way. And it's a gorgeous nude, but it's like a cooler tone nude, you know? They're very, very pretty. And the liquid lipsticks are extremely comfortable. I have a full liquid lipstick swatch video on all of the liquid lipsticks if you want to see how pretty much all of them look on the lips. But I'm very, I'm very like happy with those. I constantly wear the liquid lipsticks. Good stuff. And then here is what the highlighter looks like. I love how you kind of get four in one. And this right here is called X's and Glows. Such a clever name. You could use these all together or separately. And then let me show you. Here's what they look like swatched separately. So depending on your skin tone, you can wear each one separately. <laughs> As I said four times. Or you can just mix the whole thing together, which I probably would not do just because I feel like it would be way too dark for me. But here's what you get when it's swatched together. But if you do have a deeper skin tone, that should work out. If you have a fair to light skin tone, you can kind of maybe focus on this shade, maybe a little bit of that, a drop of that. I love their highlighters. They're so like mushy gushy soft and they look blinding on without emphasizing much. Okay, next up we have this cute little box here from Physicians Formula. I love receiving PR from them because I think that I recently just kind of got added to the list. So here you guys can see, say goodbye to dull skin and hello to radiance with the new butter collection for eyes and complexion. So they released one, two, three, four, five, six goodies. This brand is available at a bunch of different drugstores and Ulta as well. So first up, we have this eyeshadow palette in bronze nudes. Haven't tried out their palettes in a very, very long time. Like I'm talking about years, I want to say. Like these style palettes, you know? So I'm, I am really curious to see if they change the quality, if it's good, if it's like not, like what's the story? I love this little cute size and I love like the whole summer theme. Um, here is what this one looks like. You get, I want to say two mattes and then four metallics. Yum, so good. And then I'll show you. These are the metallics. They're really nice and pretty saturated. Not bad. A little bit of a uh, kick up, but very shiny and very, very pretty. I feel like these tones would work out perfectly for like a day-to-day -day basis. I want to just see this brown though. The matte. Also very nice. Kind of impressed. Did not expect that, I'll tell you that. So here we have again bronzed nudes then we have this one right here which is called matte blushed nudes so this is pretty much a matte palette like an only matte palette so you don't get any metallics in here it's a very light palette too though so i feel like maybe going into <laughs> okay i feel like maybe going like into the summer months this could be nice for like a nice wash of color if you don't want to go too dramatic or deep you have a lot of lighter tones here and then deeper ones here very very soft palette for sure little bit powdery but still you get a nice amount of pigment and they're very very thin shades so usually when shades are so thin like they're very very hard to build up but i hope that these won't have that issue and then we have the butter believe it press powder so this is like an all over 
um, pressed powder, all over face pressed powder in Creamy Natural. So I'm assuming they have other shades to choose from. I don't think this is like a one size fits all kind of thing. I really, really like their packaging, although I would love for it to be a drop thinner. You know what I recently did, by the way? I recently traveled with one of my Fenty powders. So also it has like a similar package to this, like the piece, this piece kind of goes up and then you have a little section here. So I just put like my lashes here. It was so convenient. And then like they didn't get smushed, you know, amongst the makeup pieces, the makeup items. So just a little tip for ya. Um, you can even put jewelry there. I put my earrings there too. Anyways, here is what the powder looks like. Really nice. I love using face powder here. But here's what it looks like. Even though there's like deeper tones here, it kind of still is more of like a creamy natural shade i guess um i don't know maybe i would use this for like the under eye area or maybe all over the face we'll see it definitely seems like it's blurring so i'm happy about that a lot of the times i'll just use concealer on areas that i feel like i need it especially under my eyes and then i'll just set my whole face with a powder and i'm good to go like i don't like lately i haven't been using a lot of like liquid foundation and it, i just love the effect it gives so i'm gonna put this to good use then they also sent over this blush and this right here came like arrived slightly broken this is in mauve mattes here is what this little cutie looks like i love the color so with this one it's not that bad i'll just have to kind of fix it i went in there too just this little area kind of broke but we could kind of still swatch and it feels really really like mousse like and very soft just very nice oh it smells so good oh my goodness this smells like vacation vibes 101. Wow, so nice. Okay, and then here is what this shade looks like. So yeah, just a really beautiful mauve. And it is a matte finish, but I feel like it just has like this softness to it too, you know? So I feel like that's going to be winner. Then they sent over the Butter Believe It blush in the shade Pink Sands. This is a gorgeous, more lighter pink. I feel like this would be best suited if you have a fair to light skin tone. It's definitely more of like a, yeah, barely there kind of blush. Uh, so if you have a lighter skin tone, I would say this one would be probably your best bet. But if you have a deeper skin tone, the mauve one that I wiped off already would be great too. Um, you can mix and match, all of that. And then the final item that they sent over was the transfer resistant micro blade effect one second here i'm so excited i thought this was a liner no i'm so excited micro pen oh my gosh okay so i use this kind of product daily whenever i'm doing my brows i use the milani one day in day out the next one is pretty good too but my heart like milani has my heart when it comes to this kind of product i actually don't even use a brow pencil anymore like you know the covergirl one that i was obsessed with i barely use that anymore i still love it but i just don't find that i do my brows like that as much anymore this type of style product i feel like just looks so much better in my brows so much more natural looks more real and i always want my brows to look like hair you know not like i actually drew on brows you know like i just wanted to look like feathery hairiness oh my gosh oh my gosh i think this shade should also work out pretty well it might actually be a drop light but you know if anything i can mix it with the milani one it seems like it's a it's perfectly pigmented with these you don't want it to be overly pigmented because then it's like harder to go back from there i think that this amount of pigmentation works for me so i will for sure Keep you posted on this. I okay, the next package that I got here was from Elf Cosmetics. This is their new cookies and I want to say Dreams collection. I was going to do a first impression on this, but it just didn't end up working out with my schedule. And then a week or two passed by. I'm like, you know what? I don't know if anyone cares to really see this on my face. <laughs> like my first impression situation. So I'm here to share with you guys the pieces like here, like, like this for like now. Um, I'm so excited to be on the PR. I love this brand. I feel like they really came a very, very long way. Yeah, it's the Cookies and Dreams collection. Uh, this collection is available at Walmart. I want to say exclusively and on Elf's site. Elf Cosmetics' site. Okay, this is the cutest package. One of the cutest packages I've ever received, I have to tell you. This is so cute. This, make, this makes me so happy. So happy. Okay, so first up, we have this brush kit available in the collection. You get three different brushes, like a shader brush, like a dome-shaped brush, and then a crease brush. Really beautiful packaging. Totally going to use this. I'm always in need for some good brushes, and Elf has some really nice ones. Uh, next, they sent over the Cookies and Dreams Just the Cream Putty Primer. I love the putty primer. I constantly speak about it or i used to always speak about it the luminous one is amazing the original formula is good they have a matte one they have one for um redness that it's like a green type of primer basically uh, so when i said they released this i'm like yes so exciting i like how they put this like little twist on their best-selling primer you know so let's see 
I just want to see. I don't know if there's like little pieces in here. No. So it's basically just their regular primer, regular putty primer, I want to say. Feels so good. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh my god. It smells so good. Okay, heavenly, heaven in an absolute jar, yum. If you haven't tried their putty primer, I love it. I hit pan on my other one, and this is one that I feel like I'm going to be using day in, day out. It's such a solid one. Whoa, and the smell of it is everything to me. And then they sent over the Cookies and Dreams Milkshake Overnight Mask. It has like little, like almost like cookies in there, but it's not like really cookies. I actually really have been enjoying a bunch of the e.l.f. skincare um, goodies. Their masks in general have been pretty good. So I'm gonna put this in my bathroom to see what it has to offer. Maybe we'll use it tonight, maybe tomorrow. Oh, they also sent over cookies, which I mean, we'll, we'll always take. So two of these and then two of these. I think that they're like maybe Oreo covered cookies. Yeah, they are white chocolate covered Oreo. Deliciousness. Okay, then they sent over the Cookies and Dreams Single Scoop Sponge. It looks really cool. I just want to see like if the shape of it is like an ice cream cone. No, so it's basically like a regular sponge. I kind of like how they added this to look like a cone. It feels great. I love the colors and it almost looks like a beauty blender. We'll have to see how different this is compared to the other sponges. I like their sponges, but I'm not obsessed. I want to see if this one works as well as a beauty blender i'll let you know for sure and then they sent over the palette which i want to put to use asap i'm not necessarily into blues all that much but i like that this one has some neutrals and blues as well so you can kind of go both routes let's see what these swatch like okay so here are what some of the shades look like swatch these are basically with one to almost two swipe swatches each like this one was with two swatches one one and this was with two really really nice uh, i am so impressed they are also really nice and very soft and they don't have like kick up or fallout or anything like that i also like that they made an eight pan palette i love their four pan palettes well most of them the quality is great not always so obsessed with all the color stories they come out with, but basically my point is I'm happy that they released uh, this 8 pen palette and I would love to see more from the brand when it comes to this size. I feel like it's still small, but you get so much more, you know? Then we have these items as well. So some lip products and some eye products. Then they have three of these glosses. They also have really nice quality glosses. I find that they're not sticky and they add the perfect amount of color. So the deepest shade here is called Dream Cookie. It's like a deep, I would say navy, almost black with blue glitter. They also have this one, which is so cute. Like, look at this. It looks like literally cookies and cream. This is called Creme Comb. And then we have this one, which is more of like a blue, clear type of gloss. It's called Brain Freeze Cup. So, I definitely want to include at least one in the giveaway. So, I think I'm going to put this in the giveaway. But I'm going to go ahead and keep these two for myself. And then here we have four of the... These are specifically called the No Budge Eyeshadows. So these are great. They're great quality. I don't hear a lot of people speak about them, but I love how they perform. They're great to use as bases or great to use on their own. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the white one um, in the giveaway prize and then keep these three goods for myself. I hope that's okay, by the way. And then we have the Cookie Crumble Lip Exfoliator. This sounds so good. I kind of want to try it now. Yum. So nice. It's an exfoliator. Uh, it's all like red next to red lip product. But it's not as gritty. And it doesn't taste weird or anything. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the Cookies and Dream. Cookies, sorry. Yeah, Cookies and Dreams collection by e.l.f. The cutest. When I saw this release too, I was like, yum. Honestly, I was going to purchase the whole collection on my own, but I was really happy to see that they sent it over. It was a really nice little treat. Next up, I have this right here from Physicians Formula. The packaging is really cute because it kind of looks like a little TV situation. Uh, so this package arrived mostly shattered. Uh, there are six goods and I think two are like broken. Okay, so here is what we're working with on the inside. So like I mentioned, there are six like powders from blushes to highlighters, I want to say, but one of them or two maybe broke. I'm not sure. Anyways, it smells amazing in here. These goods smell so good. So let me see. <laughs> okay. Build a butter community. 
So this right here is called Butter Buddies. This is an illuminating powder. It feels very, very smooth, but it's more of like a setting type of shade. I'd probably use this for the under eye area since it is pretty white. Hopefully it'll work out well. So cute, I love a little pacifier. This right here is the banana powder. So yeah, these are powders and blushes, I wanna say. Yikesies. It's really hard to see, honestly. Uh, so this is more of like a yellow toned powder. I'm gonna put this in the giveaway, but don't worry, I'm gonna clean it, even though this guy is the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna clean it and then send it, not send it like this dirty, don't worry, okay? Let me know if you don't want it though, if you win, <laughs> okay? And then we have this one right here, which is called the mattifying powder. Also very cute. I just don't want this dress to get all dirty. So it's supposed to give you a mattifying finish. I will go ahead and put this in the giveaway as well just because I personally have dry skin and I feel like it'll just sit in my collection. So hopefully the winner will enjoy this. And even if you don't have, let's say, oily skin, maybe you'll find a friend to give it to. I don't know, I wanna give you as much as I could, but it smells like butterscotch. Next we have this one, which is a blush. It just says blush, it just says Butter Buddies Blush. Eee! This is the one that was broken! I didn't realize. Something I didn't notice. But yeah, this would have been a gorgeous color, okay? Whatever, we'll probably purchase that separately. And we have this one. This is the a highlighter. I should have been more prepared. Oh, shoot. I did not realize. Okay, fine, this is not going well, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> and then finally, so that was supposed to be a highlighter, like a deeper, more bronzy tone shade, and hopefully this is not broken. This is a bronzer. So we got face powders, highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. This is a gorgeous color. I can so see myself using this. I love it, it's perfectly pigmented, and I think it's a good shade for me too. Yeah, awesome, okay, cool. So yeah, basically this collection is a really, really cute one. But if you're gonna order it online, just, you know, I don't know, I feel like they break easily. Maybe it'd be better off to pick up in store. I will probably pick up these two on my own just to, to feel out what the quality is like. And this blush is so pretty, you know, like what am I gonna do now? Anyways, yeah, okay, we'll keep this. So what, I kept two and you kept two for yourself and two is gonna go to the trash. And then before I show you the final package, I'm gonna show you guys these beauties. I love these plants. Like I feel like it just adds so much, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then we have two of these over here too as well all right and then the final package i received here was from drunk elephant this was my first pr package from them when i received this i was like jumping for joy i could not believe it um to be a part of it is just like a huge deal you know i mean it's drunk elephant so they sent over this adorable delicious like blanket it looks very thin but it's like the warmest thing ever it's like a sweater thick material i've been using this so much lately i took it with me to california recently for the plane the best thing ever, obsessed. I was looking online to see if they sell it individually, but they don't, I wish they would. And then, the few items they included in here were these. So first they sent over the TLC Glycolic Body Lotion. I think that these actually don't have a scent to them. So I'll have to test out the formula to see if it's good or not, but I always see this at Sephora. Their displays are always just so beautifully presented. They sell this at Ulta as well. I know that they have awesome skincare items, but I like that they expanded their line and now they have body care. They even have hair care, which I want to try. So yeah, we have this body um, glycolic body lotion with 10% HA blend. The next item that they sent over was this, which is the sugared coffee almond milk scrub. Sounds delicious. I'm very, very into scrubs. I love the ones from TJ Maxx and the way one is really good, but I want to see how this one performs. And then the final item that they sent over was the scalp scrub. And even though this is an item that I haven't tried, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the giveaway. Maybe I'll just purchase this for myself, but I just kind of feel like the giveaway, you know, zone here is not like a vibe. And I love including items that I feel like you guys would be happy with not like you know even though it would still be good with you know those goods i feel like it's even better with that that's pretty much it when it comes to what was included in here very thankful let me tell you here is what is going to be included in the giveaway hopefully it's enough goods yeah okay i think it's still pretty exciting
Okay, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what um, the brand sent over for this past month. If you guys are interested in entering the giveaway, then definitely just check the description box down below. The rules are usually fairly, fairly simple. I don't like to make things too complicated, you know what I'm saying? Because then I know there were times that I wanted to enter giveaways when like years ago and stuff, and it's like, oh, do this, do this, do this. Like, you know, forget this. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm looking forward to your comments. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.